How's it going, everyone? We're back here on Halo Infinite. I'm just gonna get straight to the point here in my uh, settings. Honestly, the game's probably gonna load in before I can show all of them, but here's my uh, controls. I yeah, These are mostly per personal preference. I, I just like these controls for this game at least, so. Yeah, there it is. I don't use any of the invert stuff. I hold to zoom. I uh, do make the stream. Turn off auto clamp. I made a whole video on this. I have stepped Okay, I just learned. I have my sense set to uh, four look acceleration, uh, five horizontal sense, and like seven vertical sense. Zoom level, I have. I actually have a different for each one. This is like really important. I have 1.1 1 .1 on 1 1.4 because why not? 1.2 on 2.5, uh, 1.4 on 3.0, uh, 1.5 on 5.0. 1.7 on 6.0 and uh, 1.8 on 10. So, yeah, there you are. These are my dead zone settings. I I don't really have much drift, so I don't need to bother with that. I don't use keyboard or mouse. I have FOV set to 120. I have all this off except for speed lines. I think speed lines are pretty cool. I'm not gonna, I don't have. I can't really show you my video settings. I'm on a Series X. Here's my audio settings. I guess these are not really necessary. My UI settings. I haven't. I didn't change most of them. Most of them are just the exact same, but uh, I did change the uh, the colors for the enemy and like the uh, friendlies and stuff because I don't know. I thought it just looked nicer. Mm, yeah, uh, that's it, really. I'm not playing this. Nope. I have to complete seven Fiesta matches to unlock the ultimate. I've actually never unlocked the ultimate before. This is new to me. This gun is so strange. Dude. Sometimes it's like the least powerful thing in the world. Sometimes it's like insanely OP, dude. It really depends on the scenario, but it's like absolutely nutty. What? So they gave me the gravity hammer and the energy sword, which is awesome, but then they give me a drop wall. Which is like completely useless, and not just this scenario, but like most scenarios, because the drop wall sucks. Well, and only bitches use it, and I'm not a bitch because I don't know how to use it. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Don't panic, don't panic. We just won. We just won the game. This is huge. Alright, where the. Where'd the guy go? I saw I saw some dude like drop down. But where? Oh no. Oh, hey. Yo. Also the threat sensor is highly underrated. It's actually really OP sometimes. People don't talk about it enough. If I can jack it. No. Which is very weird. Don't kill me. I don't deserve it. Honestly, I mean, I see a lot of people saying that the shock rifle, like they prefer it over the sniper. Personally, I kind of disagree. Honestly, I feel like getting a kill with the snipers like Mel is more like. Satisfying than getting one with the shock rifle. Still satisfying, don't worry, getting wrong like that was nutty, but still, it doesn't beat the sniper, dude. Does not beat the sniper. Did not kill that guy? What? What? Okay, this is, this is insanely weird. This is insanely strange. What? Oh, that was insane! Someone got that kill. Uh, thanks. No. Okay then. Damn. Oh, 
Huh? What? Let's take it down. No, but I'm going pretty close. I mean, I think it's like basically dead. Nice. The Ravager doesn't get the props it deserves, man. GG's. There it is.